All right, how's it going, everyone? Hope you're all doing well. Welcome back to another Undisputed video. I haven't played as Sugar Ray Leonard amazingly up to now. I've still not used him after all the time the game's been able to play. I'll give him a whirl in this one, see what he's like. And I've not, not gone against Calzaghi yet. Wait, have I just... Fucking hell, I thought it fucked up there. Just the Daniel Jacobs loading in there instead of Calzaghi's model. Let's go. CompuBox. I've been here for a while. 15 rounds, we'll whack it on. Undisputed difficulty. Everything else at default. Let's see what Sugar Ray's like. has been waiting for this one for a very long time. Welcome to the CompuBox Academy. I'm Todd Grisham. Next to Shut up, Todd. Sugar Ray Leonard. He, of course, won world titles in five different weight classes, including the undisputed welterweight title. His hometown is Wilmington, North Carolina. It's no wonder they call him the pride of Wales, Joe Calzaghi, a two-weight world champion who was never beaten. A legendary battle with Roy Jones Jr. as well. It's going to take something special to knock this man off his perch. As soon as the ball goes, don't blink. That fight to be over. And with that, let's... This bout is scheduled for 15 rounds of boxing. In the red corner, presenting one of the all-time greats, the Hall of Fame legend of boxing, a five-division champion of the world, Sugar Ray Leonard. Hiding out of the blue corner, presenting the renowned unified world champion with a remarkable undefeated career, introducing the two-division champion of the world and boxing's pride of Wales. Please welcome Joe, the Italian dragon. Calzaghi. What a pleasure it is to be here in this environment. What a venue for this showdown. Todd, I love this place. The atmosphere is usually second to none if you get the right fights in. And what I say you must obey. Good luck. You can't imagine All right, let's see how Ray Leonard feels to use we're going up against the southpaw as well oh big left straight from Kalzaghi there to kick things off Kalzaghi looks massive compared to Sugar Ray Look at the, that looks like, like a whole other weight class nice exchange here from both men What a pleasure it is to be here in this environment. What a venue for this showdown. You can walk into an arena and be the AI alone. tends to be a bit the passive, I think, in the, uh, the, the desire from the fans. You can't in the opening round, which is uh, Lock it off. I know it's hard. which is okay. He tends to come top. alive a little bit more as the fight goes on. Fighters landing in these exchanges. Judge is going to have a tough job. Got some body shots jab. in early. Work that body a bit. He blocks the jab. Both of these men showing exceptional chins, by the way. pocket when your punches are this slow you know the scorecards are going to be all over the place in this one oh a little dirty one after the bell there let's see how they respond here in the next round i seriously hope that 
Already both got some swelling coming up according to the little uh, the damage meters there. So I'm expecting him to be a bit more aggressive now. Let's see what he has for us here in the next one. They won't give us a second to catch our breath. You can tell he's stronger, but he's not faster. Left counter was perfectly timed. He fails to oh, nice counter left off. straight there from Calzaghi. Got to let a bit of a flurry go there. And keep an eye on this slugger. As you know, he's willing to take three to give one. That's his game plan, and it's worked out pretty well for him so far. With sluggers, you cannot let them get into a rhythm because this is how they train. This is how they prepare for fight. This is what they'll do all night. Do not dance their dance. You've got to use speed. Both of these fighters have had their moments. Oh, left upper cup connected. Counter shot, that's not good. Counter right straight to the body landed. Counter uppercut to the body. You know the oh, left up over the top from Kalzaghi. The got a few good shots in there. He's recovered his swelling by the look of it. And we've got more swelling on the left side now. On to the third. Safe to say that last round was a nightmare. Let's see if we can turn it around here. We wouldn't go that far, Todd. <laughs> like a nightmare. Be smart. Be sharp. Don't be a fool. Don't get second in. Make him fight your fight. Hold him, tie him up just until your head clears again and your legs come back again. Because if you don't, he's going to pop you off. It's popping off. Both of these men showing exceptional chins, by the way. Both of these fighters have the conditioning to go the distance, no problem. They also have the power to end this with one punch. Middleweight always gives us a class. If you've got two class middleweight fighters, you are in for action. I'm quite sure right now, if you know your boxing, there's a certain fighter, Mr. Mr. I would just say marvelous, but some fighters were unbelievable middleweight. A very competitive round here so far. Oh, I slipped there and a counter left off. Very competitive round with 10 seconds left. As bad as boxing judging can be sometimes, there's no doubt who won that round. Here we go in round four. Who's going to land the first big shot? Coming off that fantastic last round. Let's see if he can keep his momentum going. That was a body shot there. Made him pay for that one.
Oh, there's that counter liver shot that I like to land. That's stepping off to the side. You've heard the phrase, finding a second win. I don't think I need to tell you which one of these fighters needs to find it. Counter left hook landed off the slip. That was a nice shot. This is about what. Nice punch. This fighter has not shown as much defense at all. Circle out of there, get away from the corner. A real good back and forth between these two fighters. They got out of the way that right hook. There's that counter liver shot again. Oh, and a hard power shot to the body got through. Oh, nice lead right up a cut there from Joe. Attributes to have in boxing has nothing to do with boxing. It's how well you can take a punch to the face. Because you've got a good chin doesn't mean you've got leather skin. Oh, pull counter right, straight lands. So you've got to go for this cut there. Oh, and a nice liver shot again. you just got to try and cut them skin and go for speed. The hook, oh, land. got caught with an uppercut there. This round could go either way. Ten seconds to go. Well, it's no secret who has the advantage after that last round. And there's the bell for round five. Well, there's no doubt about who won that last round. Let's see what he has for us here in the next one. Exchange here from both men. Oh, this combination, that jab, uppercut, and left hook combination. How nervous would you How to live a shot? Oh, hard power straight to the body. I've seen certain fighters that can depend on just their power alone. Forget tactics. They know the second they touch you, it's done. That's where the confidence comes from. Oh, lead left uppercut, countered him there. And he misses with the left uppercut. He parries the right jab away. In the early rounds of a fight, you'll see two boxers feel each other out, test each other's power, and I think this boxer has decided I can walk through anything that lands. What a gift. What a gift it is to have a chin where you know you can walk through anything and everything. When you let those shots go, and it's just bouncing up and they're walking you down, it's so demoralizing. Joe's stamina is just like, he's just what throwing. Can you do? Try and make him pay for that with body shots if I can. Oh, nice combination there. They've got the momentum, they've got the advantage. How do they carry that into the next round? I seriously hope so. Here's the bell for round six. After a really strong round, let's see if they can finish the job. My motto is, if it's not broken, why change it? An excellent last round, everything worked. Wait for the reaction. Until then, keep doing what you've just been doing because you've won that hands down. Last round, complete domination. Let's see what we have in store for us. The hard right straight power straight to the body got through. Circle away. It's cutting me off. Got a circle to me right. This fighter has determined that they can walk through any punches that their opponent throws 
And that's a very confident spot to be in. I've seen some fights with a granite chin. You can hit them with a sledgehammer. They are not going to move. Oh, that counter left up to the body. Love it. Oh, counter right up a cut to the body. This is the dangerous cut. It's been a back and forth contest so far, no doubt about it. Oh, another hard shot to the body there. That power straight got through. One punch could change everything in this battle. Why aren't they defending? Oh, nice pull counter right straight. Despite what the judges' scorecards read, there are no losers in this one. Another hard body shot. Another one. Oh, the nice counter jab to put a stamp on the round. Trying to find a home for that fight straight to the body, that power straight. Here from both men. They call it the chin. How strong is your chin? Do you have a glass chin? There it is, got it in there. The, the problem with having a chin that everybody knows if they hit you, you're hurt, you're gone. You've got to protect that, but you've also got to get your shots off. And they forget, you can bang too. Nice combination again. Hard straight to the body. Like to see this fighter protect themselves a little better. This round's still up for grabs with just 10 seconds to go. Stamina is always an issue in a prize fight. Oh, look at that stamina. He's just he's so aggressive, like throwing so many shots, and we're actually count like getting him with a lot of counter body shots and the stamina is just fucking. I mean, what round are we on? Are we even halfway through the fight yet? And we enter the eighth round. Eighth round. I'm not sure these two fighters can keep up the pace we saw last round, but you know they're going to try. What are they doing that round? What are, they, are they trying to get a million? Right? That's a lot of energy, players. They, they, they did six rounds in one. They're going to be absolutely shattered. Him with that uppercut. And he misses with that jab. How much confidence do you build when your opponents hit you with their best shot and you walk right through? trigger happen because all of a sudden you're going to be guessing yourself out trying to get that shot and that's when he catches at the halfway point and both of these fighters know the round is still up for grabs neither man really defending himself Nice 
score again with the left hand. That hook doesn't score. This round could go either way. Ten seconds to go. Oh, body shot got to him. Oh, he recovered though. We'll see how much endurance these two fighters have. It's when you talk about championship material. And we enter the night. A lot of energy put into that last round. Can they keep it up here? Exerted a lot of energy in the fight so far. Now they're shattered. This is what you call championship rounds. If you have done the work, slept right, et right, prepped right, I'm expecting you to get through this. If not, if you've cheated, the ring can be the loneliest place in the world. The old adage is, no matter how much speed you've got, timing beats speed. When you've got a fast fighter, they will cut you to ribbons, and they know it's a matter of time before either you get desperate or the referee jumps in and saves you. This is a natural gift. Big hook. Good thing it didn't land. A real good back and forth between these two fighters. with that jam. Oh, nice uppercuts to the body. This is some of the best action I've seen in any round, anywhere this year. Right with the back out of the pocket here. Look how slow these punches are. Despite what the judges' scorecards read, there are no losers in this one. Now you start wondering how much work these two fighters did in the gym. Really going for that body shot knockdown, but it's uh, just doesn't seem to be happening. This is the tenth. How much do they have left in the tank after that last round? An amazing pace and tempo set in the last round. Can you keep this up? Me personally, I don't think that's possible. And if they can, their training, their condition would have been ridiculous, like they're in the army. But these guys, if they can keep up this pace, we are in for a great night. We've seen in the past from this fighter, they don't get concerned when they lose some of the earlier rounds because they know they've got that power that can strike at any moment. This could be really intimidating, Todd. If you know somebody's got the punch power, someone's got the speed, someone can take you out with a simple jab, it can be intimidating. It just depends on how confident you are as a fighter. So far, both of these fighters have had their moments. But this fighter realizes that defense is one of the scoring criteria in boxing. And this is that jab. Oh, counter left off landed flush. Is no matter how much speed you've got, timing beats speed. Some fighters are just gifted, gifted with such hand speed, footwork, movement. They are gifted, they are the chosen few. You know, the scorecards are going to be all over the place in this one. And this might be the beginning of the end for Joe Calzaghi. Oh, and a hard right straight, went to the body with the jab, and then a power right straight up top, just got him at the end of the round. So it's plan B time after being knocked.
for my health though. Health uh, took a bit of a hit. Got to be careful. I'm not the one who gets KO'd here after all this work put on it. Couldn't finish him off in the last round. Let's see what this has in store for us. What a knockdown. You know in the corner now they're saying when you get out there, jump on him. Do not give him chance to breathe. Bully him. Throw him. Push him down. Punch him in the back. Don't let him bully you, son. Don't let him bully you, Leon. So like Leon Edwards is Leon Edwards' is corner. Can you believe this? Oh. Oh, and a hard right straight to the body. That was a power shot. Oh, counter right off. Oh, nice counter liver shot. Well, this next round is going to be crucial considering the knockdown. So his, his stamina is not dropping below 21. And I'm really, really going for that body shot finish, but it just doesn't seem to be having much effect on him. There's the bell to start round 12. He couldn't finish him off in the last round. Let's see what this has in store for us. That knockdown we just saw was a heavy knockdown. I'd be very, very surprised. And this might be oh. the beginning of the end. Left hook off the jab there. Oh, that's one of my favourite combos, that liver shot right straight and then the left hook up top. Oh, little sneaky uppercut got through. Oh, counter uppercut lands for Joe. Oh, power straight to the body, landed again, to no avail. So you've got to think, if there was some kind of like actual vulnerability system in these in this game, there would have been a lot more like knockdowns with some of these counters, and even me getting countered with some shots, you know. But he's just taking them. Oh, check right off as I came in. If he doesn't, I'd be very, very surprised. 
And I think I could have got him out of there by now if I would have gone to the head, like, but... I just really want... I'm testing, like, the body. Like, the bot... You know what I mean? Like, the, uh... The vulnerability to the body, and there isn't really... It's just not really there. When we talk about a fighter having power, don't just look at the head punches they throw. Look at the body shots. That could be the real difference. Hard, we know one of these fights can knock you out with a simple jab. They're that powerful. Oh, beautiful combination. Counter liver shot, and then the right straight left hook after it. That's it. It's over. That was a nice finish. That too bad we didn't get any. Don't get any replays. But that was a that was a lovely finish to that one. Finishing with me, one of my favourite combinations. Look at that sunburn on Joe's face. Where's the cuts? I want to see some fucking cuts. Looks like Two Face from fucking Batman Forever with Tommy Lee Jones. I still think the AI on the hardest setting is still a little bit too easy. I think there needs to be more done with the uh, the tweak to the AI logic and stuff like that. It's still a little bit too easy, I feel. But there you go, Sugar Ray Leonard. Thanks very much for watching, everyone. I'm going to leave it there. Take care, and I'll see you in the next one.